All right, what we're looking at here is a bunch of Nintendo games that have been opened up and splayed out. And all of these have had their batteries replaced with brand new CR2032s. But more than that, they've had these sharp little battery holders added to the, to the cart. And this one is unmodified, and it fit inside of the uh, case just fine without the modification. I mean it was snug but once I uh, screwed the security bits back down I put this in my Nintendo tested it up just fine and I had already soldered this to the board and uh, so that's on there and uh, that's a copy of Shadowgate but I wasn't happy with that you know a hundred percent because Look at this. See the way it sits up like that? That's not good. Um, but it does fit in the cartridge once I close it up, and it does play. So, there's that. I might, I might undo that, uh, modify the battery holder, and give it another go. But this is the one that I'm proud of. I modified the... Uh, battery holders you can see I just cut this off with the Dremel and the batteries are kinda of hard to get out so I chopped off the front bit right there so that you can just pop it out with the thumb you know just boop and it comes right out and uh, this fits much much nicer this is almost the exact same size as the original battery that was uh, soldered to the board but the benefit to this is in 30 years when this uh, lithium CR2032 dies you know if you want to play let's see what this come out of this came out of Star Tropics if you want to play Star Tropics in like 30 years and this battery has died on you all you got to do is open it up pop this out pop in a new one assuming in uh, 2042 they still have CR2032s <laughs> um, yeah, but look at this. It's pretty goddamn nice work. And, uh... I went through all my Nintendo games, and I replaced all of them. Let's pop this one back in its cartridge. See, that sits a lot more flush. Like, it just barely pops up a little bit right there, but... Again, once you clamp that down, it uh, fits nicely. And I've tested all these in my Nintendo. Let's see, let's do a comparison shot. There's that one sitting pretty flush. And then there's that one, which is like popped up by like almost half an inch. So since I've got everything open, I'm probably going to heat up the soldering iron, plug in the Dremel, and uh, take care of that. But... I am going to start offering a battery replacement service on my website, MondoCoolCast.com. And it's $15 for uh, this. The $15 covers the return shipping, too. So that is included in the $15. But it's a personally modified battery holder, which makes for easy removal of the battery. Um, f fits flush to the uh, board, and uh, looks pretty pretty damn sharp. And you have the security of being able to play all of your uh, Nintendo games. So if you just bought a Nintendo game that's battery backed, I always worry about the batteries dying on me because I don't know if someone else has replaced them. Uh, I don't know how long that battery is going to last, because some I have ran into games that have dead batteries. Legend of Zelda 2, or Zelda 2, Link's Adventure, or whatever. Adventure of Link. Some shit. Zelda 2. I uh, ran into that, and it had a dead battery. And that was ten years ago. So, and that was the first game with the battery I replaced. But that looks pretty damn sharp, having it uh, soldered to the board, you know? Looks like it's supposed to be that way. Um, I opened up my original Legend of Zelda and 
it looks like someone else has already opened this too because it's you know six ninety five and then some initials, but uh, that battery may have been replaced. But I've had issues with it, and it would not. It didn't want to fit snugly against the board, so I just took out some wire and uh, wired it up this way, like I did with the Legend of Zelda or Zelda Two. Yeah, whatever. So, if it doesn't fit snugly against the board, I've got plenty of room to uh, run it this way. And that fits snugly in the board. Fits snugly in the cartridge. And I can tape this down to make sure it doesn't wobble around. But it's this uh, unmodified battery holder actually fits pretty snug. So, for 15 bucks, I will... Uh, put in a new battery for you with a custom uh, modified battery holder which I mean it's not the most beautiful thing in the universe but focus little camera focus but yeah and then you know I'll do two for 20 or four games for 30 so that, that covers the cost of the batteries. These are name brand, brand new batteries. A lot of people are like, oh man, fuck that. I'll just get, you know, a box of 100 uh, batteries on eBay. Those are cheap Chinese batteries that don't hold much of a charge. Like, compared to these off-the-shelf uh, Energizer batteries, this is going to hold a charge a lot longer. Sometimes, you know, twice as long as those... Uh, cheap batteries you get on eBay, those cheap off-brand Chinese batteries. Um, I love buying a lot of cheap electronics from China, but batteries is not one of those things that you do that with. So these are all name brand off, you know, off the shelf from fucking Walmart, CR2032s. These will last years and years and years and years in your uh, Nintendo games. Realistically, you'll probably never have to do it again, but should you ever run into the situation to where you do have to change the battery it's as simple as popping it out and popping it back in and uh... i've never had a problem i've yesterday alone i uh... swapped out like five batteries like i did all this yesterday and then you know there's the ones i've done before so anyway that is my uh... long rambly video you can head over to mondocoolcast.com go to the mods page and uh... If you need that done, or just contact me, you know, shoot me a PM on YouTube, and uh, I will do this for you. I've never actually attempted to change the battery in a Super Nintendo or Sega Genesis cart, so I'm actually going to look for some super cheap, super common games that have battery saves, and I will experiment with those. And once I see what's up, I may or I may not add that service to my website. So anyway... Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking it out. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and modify this little bugger. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.